Hi, this is Mark, and let's take a look at how we can uh, use the flexibility of WordPress to make some changes and modify anything that we've put together. So one of the things that we can do is actually go in and make some changes. And so here's our Epson Multimedia, and I can go in and I can actually alter the title. And, you know, one of the things I may want to put there is one of my favorites. And I'll just put a little hyphen in. And now I've changed the title. And with WordPress, you don't have to make your decision right now. I can come over here and click on Preview Changes. And that will open up a, a new, new tab. So click there. And here we have one of my favorites, Epson, Epson Multimedia. And I can decide, oh, yeah, I like it better that way. Or I can go back and no, not so much. Let's let's get rid of that. And now let's take a peek. And okay, here's back to the way it was. So a lot of flexibility that way. And so I really like the preview changes. And when I'm ready to go with it, I can just click update and it will update and it will now be set in that that manner. Um, also with WordPress you can see up top here's a hyperlink and in this case um, it's called my blog we can be a little bit bit more creative as we go there but when I click on my blog it takes me to where I want to be on my web page and oh now I can see it and just go back in and in this case I'll go back into the dashboard and okay something else I can do is I can go in and I can go and directly go to add posts or a page or I can go in and go directly to the layout options anything I want to do like that so get to know your your toolbar toolbar up here at the top but let's go back into that post and let me show you how you can correct a mistake let's suppose I come in here and I'm clicking and come close but not quite when I'm trying to put it into a category. So instead of it being in home theater, let's suppose I was going really fast and accidentally clicked on accessories. So let's update that. And we'll go into our web page by clicking up here. And I'm just kind of going through looking looking at my web page, trying to decide, you know, what I like. Here's, you know, kind of all my products under home theater and maybe I could look at something and I need to load some screens here and I come across accessories and I go whoa wait a second um, that's not what I want there that's in the wrong place and so what I can do is go back in and I'll go to that post and I can actually uh, go into the post and change that and I'll just update it but I'll come down here and go, oh, oh, what was I thinking? That's for home theater. Let's take that off. Now it's ready to go. I'll click update and give it just a moment. And then I can go to my blog and make sure I'm happy with what's there. So I'll go to accessories and go, oh, great, it's not there anymore. I still know I need to add some product to accessories. But I can come back over here to home theater and there's my Epson Multimedia. So WordPress is very flexible. It gives you a very professional look and it allows you to add things. It allows you to delete things. And if you do any oopses, then it lets you take care of that. So hope you've enjoyed this video and continue on learning on how to use your 99 cent website.